The name of this next process configuration, sequencing batch reactor, is descriptive of how this process works. There is a specific sequence to the steps of a complete cycle. The water is treated in batches rather than using a plug flow design, and the entire process takes place in the biological reactor. Because of this batch design, there must be some form of flow equalization or multiple reactors capable of handling continuous wastewater flow. SBRs are generally used in systems with relatively low flows, typically a 1 MGD or less uh, flow, but they can be designed to handle more than 100 MGD if required. A properly programmed sequence will create the conditions that allow for biological removal of nitrogen and phosphorus. Step one is the filling process. For this example, the SBR is treating mostly municipal waste with about 10% of the flow coming from industrial dischargers. So the cycle time is eight hours. The normal cycle time for municipal waste is four hours and for industrial waste is in the range of four to 24 hours. Since filling accounts for about 25% of the total cycle, it'll take about two hours to fill this tank in our example. And it's worth noting that the aeration system will cycle on and off intermittently during the fill step to maintain the proper dissolved oxygen levels in preparation for the reaction step. Following the fill step is the react step or the reaction step. The reaction step takes about 35% of the total cycle time. So in our example here, the reaction step will last for about 2.8 hours. This is where the microorganisms in the presence of sufficient dissolved oxygen will oxidize and absorb the organic waste in the wastewater. Once the reaction period is finished, it's time to turn off the aeration system and allow the solids to separate from the liquid. The secondary clarifier is simulated here and the activated sludge is allowed to settle to the bottom of the tank as the water is clarified. Once the sludge is settled and the water has been clarified, the draw step is initiated. Here the supernatant is drawn off as the treated effluent and sent to the next process, whether it's disinfection or some other form of tertiary treatment. Finally, there's an idle period when the required amount of sludge is wasted in order to return the mixed liquor suspended solids concentration to the desired range before starting the next treatment cycle. Once the wasting is complete, the cycle continues and the same sequence of steps will be repeated to treat the next batch of water.